Hi everyone, my name is Avery. I'm sure he's... We're back with another reaction video. Today we're doing Hailstorms Uncomfortable, the official uh, video. I don't know much from a Hailstorm, I just know um, what their rock hits, uh, their ra uh, radio station hits back in, in you know, the um, early 10s, um, late aughts, so. And then I, we did hear her with Lindsey Sterling, which was really good. Yeah, that was really good. So I guess we'll find out how this one goes. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's just get into it. suggested it's a pretty good one i thought um so apparently that's just a vocal fry she adds to her singing yeah is that more harsh yeah i thought that might have just been her voice and singing voice like that's just how she sounded because that's how i've only heard her sing but this actually shows that she's that's a vocal fry and that's a, something she's choosing to do which is interesting it adds definitely a nice harshness to her voice usually but she's got a very pretty clean yeah, I, I personally prefer her clean voice. As do I. I'm curious if she's got any, like, maybe not even with Hailstone, but, like, as a featured artist or anything where she's, like, completely clean. Oh, well, we did get something with a, with her uh, featured in a different band. I'll have to look at what it was now, but there's a different um, band that she's featured. But I don't know if she's all clean in that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that we don't like her distortion, her vocal fry. We're just curious to hear that side of her singing. Cause. Yeah. I mean, I just personally prefer clean singing. Yeah, I know vocal fry, you know, is, you know, necessary for style. But also, I feel like I don't like when, like, singers just do that throughout a whole song. Like, I feel like it should be more accented sometimes. Like, because it makes, sometimes it makes the singer sound strange. Like, certain, I've, I've heard certain and um, different artists and I was like, ooh, that sounds really weird. Like, it doesn't always work. Well, let's continue. Just 
a really good upbeat one. Yeah. It has some nice heavy guitar in it. I also like the lyrical manner. Uh, she does stuff to just piss people off pretty much. Make them uncomfortable. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean. Do what you want. Like, I mean. <laughs> break the mold. Like. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, I liked it. I yeah, I liked it. She actually chose to sing completely clean. That's was very interesting. Definitely different. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, we did get, like, some yelliness and stuff. Yeah. But, like, um, yeah, I did like it. This was, majority of it was clean. And then she also had, like, that uh, speak singing. Yeah, that was that was good, too. So, so she was, like, what, three, four different styles in one song? Yeah, so she did, I was going to just say, she did add multiple styles in the song, so. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, again, she's multi, Lizzie's multi-talented, so, um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give this one like an eight point five. I think I'm gonna give it an eight point two five. It was good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I definitely will listen to more Hailstorm because they're really good. And then we have that um Bennett was inspired by Hailstorm on our list too. Love Bites. Yeah, we got a couple actually we got a couple love bites on our, our list. So we'll have to get to those here soon. Yeah. We'll have to look at our schedule. Yeah, I need see to... when maybe we can fit it in. Yeah. But okay, uh, please check out our description so you can find out uh, see our social media and when we find out to do our uh, live streams. And remember, we have a PayPal and a Patreon to get your request to the head of the line. Once we get your donation, we will film within that week. And if we have any issues or delays, we will contact you. And then uh, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.